one so always keep trying to keep your eye on the runway as well start sizing which is good we shouldn't need flaps today but just be aware if we if we're running a bit going in a bit hot a bit fast if we do use the flaps the plane is is going to nose up because obviously the flaps put more uh, air over the wing surfaces so just be aware of that so when you put pull if you do use flaps just remember to be pushing down on your right i think we're good to turn onto base so if you turn to the 360 that's north of the compass and just gently pull on your throttle so we can start to lose that height you can always obviously reference with your vertical speed indicator probably about five and a feet per minute you want to be losing altitude there thereabouts In a moment we'll be turning on to final which will be roughly west on your compass we've had 260 so always tracking the runway with your eyes keeping visuals on the runway and it's slowly starting to come down in altitude but we're having a nice clear uh, final approach probably I'd say maybe two kilometers away two three kilometers so plenty of time to get there and if we do need to lose speed remember we've always got the flaps to help us so when you're comfortable with the runway when you're ready to turn onto final which I said is west on your compass we've got some pappy lights here what are called pappy lights if if it's what you're looking for is too red and too white that means you, you, your rate of descent and your line up with the runway is, is good so too red too, too red yeah touch too low but that's fine we're, we're, we're in a, a single prop aircraft Seven hundred feet. Maybe lose a little bit more on this throttle. I say. You can always introduce a bit more throttle if you need to get back up quickly. You know. There, there we go. Showing your tracks. Good leg. That's it. Well, you're, you're at 80 knots there, so maybe just kill your speed a little bit so we don't have to introduce any flaps. Looking good. throttle a touch more what we're going to do obviously once you're hovering over the tarmac or you just want you to put it straight down try and float over and in the last minute just pull your nose up a little touch and just let it kiss the tarmac 
you may hear what's called a stall warning indicator, an audible sound. It doesn't matter if you hear that, that's, that's good. It just means you, your speed is very, very slow. It means you're going to stall, but obviously you want a slow. So you've got quite a bit of speed there. So try and hover it, try and hover it, try and hover it. Hover, 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 hover. It's a big runway, don't be worrying about going all the way to the end. Hover. I see you're losing speed nicely now. And that's it, that's it, that's it. Oh, very nice. Right, what, what we're going to do, we're going to taxi up, so just kill your speed a little bit with your toe brakes. Because we'll take we'll take the next, we've missed a turn off there, so we'll take the next turn off and we'll taxi up to the gate. So, looking for your next taxi, here we go. If you want to turn off here. If it's a little bit fast, don't worry about going forward. Yeah. aircraft right so we're looking for traffic now now we're actually on the taxiways right are we clear yeah. right we might as well use the same departure gate that we came from so if you just want to go forward there's a marker there so if you want to use that marker to center up on the right there Touching your brakes slightly. And stop. Well, okay, if you can just turn all the switches off, please. Yeah, parking brake, brilliant. Right, would you like to just kill the ignition? Agreed. All the navigation master switches off. Well, you have concluded your first circuit. That's and quite complete. I, I'm saying very, very, very well done. Top yeah. job. I mean, enjoyable. Well, you've had obviously you've had experience with flight simulators before, but, but yeah, I can say that's a top-notch job. Well, highly enjoyable experience. Thank you very much.